गुड इवनिंग एवरीबॉडी दिस इज संगीता सक्सेना एडिटर एविएशन एंड डिफेंस यूनिवर्स गेटिंग यू लाइव फ्रॉम द आर्मी एविएशन यूनिट एट लद्दाख इन ले एंड फ्रेंड्स इट्स अ ब्यूटीफुल साइट वी हैव कम हियर टू विटनेस द नाइट फ्लाइंग ऑफ द चॉपर्स व्हिच आर स्टेशन हियर इन दिस यूनिट एंड लेट मी टेल यू इट्स इट्स अ लवली साइट यू कैन सी द हैंगर्स ओपन and there are at least 7 to 8 choppers you know at various levels of maintenance being done and the moment you take a look around the complete hangar uh, it's 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 such a pleasure to see that it's your indian army technicians who are making the last minute checks to ensure that these choppers fly well during the night flying night flying which is a major challenge friends in comparison to day flying and uh, i'm taking a round around the journalists here have been got by the uh, indian army to witness this and uh, you know there uh, like any other army installation the most beautiful thing is that you begin with a sarvatan uh, sal which is uh, you know place where all religion uh, uh, idols and non idols which are there and uh, you know it, it's a lovely feeling uh, to see that uh, uh, you have god with you when uh, you or you uh, take ahead such mammoth risky tasks and uh, then you take a round you know you find two rooms you find uh, you know it's a, it's, a, it's a huge hangar and there are three or four like them and uh, the most beautiful uh, uh, sight here is that we have women here and uh, it, it's it's a lovely thing to see women in such conditions who are doing such major challenging tasks you know so the logistics officer here is a woman officer and uh, it it has it is my pleasure uh, you know to have seen her and i requested and within uh, some time friends i'll be talking to both her then i will have a conversation with the commanding officer also and uh, uh, then as and when we go outside you know we'll get to know there is uh, the commanding officer also has uh, for briefing us uh, you know in short that the lieutenant colonel from the pme corps of pme is there and he will talk about uh, what is happening what are we going to see today and uh, i'm i'm just i'm just going out friends to take a video and take some pictures it's dark it's night but you can still get some lovely pictures so i have i'm just going out and you know i can see two choppers uh, getting ready and it's by presumption that they're going to fly and uh, one is an ALH uh, an advanced light helicopter and the other is a cheetal huh? so and uh, both of them uh, are doing this real human task to the nation uh, especially that uh, you know these uh, they are uh, they fly day in and day out to ensure that uh, the Uh, you know need of this area which is the area under the fire and fury core and uh, you know goes right up to the siachen glacier and uh, you know there there's so many things they i'm sure doing uh, they're doing supplies they're they're ferrying uh, uh, troops uh, they're doing medivac uh, you know casualty evacuation there's so much these guys are doing and i'm sure this is the time when uh, you actually feel you actually feel that i uh, had uh, you know if these guys are not there how does one manage a month from now when you know friends even today it's cold it's absolutely cold and uh, in a month from now it should be snowing and then what happens and then these guys are the guys who work 24 7365 to ensure that everything is on track there's uh, there's, there's no problem to the troops which are here in such harsh conditions and hats off to these men and women of the army aviation corps friends who who are actually the lifeline i feel very proud to welcome you all to one of the most operational squadrons of the indian army it is a privilege for me to serve here the terrain we fly the weather we serve in it is very extreme as has been already told the machines here they are not operating in the plane they are operating at the extreme edge of the flight envelope the chances of error the margin of error here is very less and despite this the machines here the squadron here has the capability to execute flying missions to include casualty evacuations slithering missions rescue missions sky missions both by day and night 
in order for the able uh, for the heptor to be able to execute the missions both by day and night there is a technical team behind it who works tirelessly giving utmost regard to flight safety both by day and night right now a night pre flight inspection of an heptor is being carried out which is being planned for a night mission so the gang size here is a uh, one supervisor and seven technicians in these seven technicians they cover five different trades of the helicopter this helicopter is a very complex machine there is a electrical trade technician who take care of the electrical systems of the heptor there is a engine trade technician who takes care of the engine of the helicopter there is a airframe technician who takes care of the structure of the helicopter there is a avionic now after the servicing is carried out there comes the main role of the uh, supervisor of the gang his job is to ensure that once the servicing is carried out there is no fod left in the heptor the tools that are drawn to carry out the servicing are deposited back because even if a screw is left in the heptor it may be catastrophic in flying so during night the low visibility is a challenge to carry out the inspection but strict uh, safety protocols are followed when the night operations are being planned from the hangar like today the servicing will be carried out in the hangar so we have adequate light available but our main job is to operate from the forward bases and at the forward bases the hangar facilities are not available the lighting is not available and for that we have catered for portable lighting arrangements and the the, uh, the inspections are carried out outside so friends i'm getting you back you are still waiting for things to happen and i'm going back to the hangar i have to, i was taking a round of the you know area and uh, one of the most beautiful things i saw written was that uh, pilots are the heart of the aircraft but technicians are its souls what a beautiful way you know to explain what a human task these guys here are doing